the way you make a great America is people have to learn. Money doesn't grow on trees. You got to work for a living. You got to work hard and you can be successful. But then we have to have fairness. And he's in favor of fairness. So his view of the police is we support the police. We're behind the police 100 percent unless the police officer acts illegally, in which case the police officer should be prosecuted as one is being prosecuted right now to the full extent of the law. And I prosecuted 70 police officers and I was still probably the most pro-police mayor ever in the history of the city. But when they were wrong and they committed crimes, I made examples of them so other police officers wouldn't be uh, that way. And I was mayor for eight years and we never had any consent decree with the Justice Department. African American young people are being killed in significant numbers, not mostly by the police, but mostly by other African Americans. And it's only the police that can stop that. But if I'm a black voter here and I'm worried about how Cleveland police handled like the Tamir Rice case or some of the other... Well, well you what know, you, what, if, 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 the, if the police mishandle the case, they got to be taught to handle it correctly. But what you got to think about is if you didn't have the police, how many more African Americans would be murdered in, in, in Cleveland? Because most of the murder that takes place in Cleveland is not by the police. I don't know, is it 1%? Is it less than 1%?